it's an important time in Washington. A lot of people talking about health care, talking about it from various different aspects. Uh, you know, I, not just because I had a personal interest, but I couldn't help but notice the headline yesterday in Politico, GOP fears on health care reform, and it had, uh, had a few quotes from, uh, from myself in there, as well as some from former Speaker Gingrich. Suffice it to say that Republicans need to talk more about their ideas in regards to health care reform. And that's why we're, I'm so grateful to have the panel that we have here this morning, because in fact, there are some ideas out there. There are some ways of looking at this process of bringing some affordability and some sanity into the system without turning it all over to the government. Because as we all know, when you turn things over to government, sometimes it doesn't work out like you intended. So with that in mind, the panel that we have here today is, uh, is going to be helping us to answer uh, some, some ser several important questions, but two, one of the issues that I, I just want to get out there and, and kind of get out of the way is that Republicans aren't talking about health care. Yes, indeed, we are talking about health care. This is our second forum that we've done uh, this year. We did several last year. We produced a primer for Republican members about the health care and the glossary of health care terms to help Republicans communicate more effectively about health care because, after all, this should be this should be a Republican issue. It's fundamentally a freedom issue. It's not a big government issue. It is a freedom issue. So uh, to the extent that the Republican message is not getting out there, I want to be certain to register that I'm doing my part to get our message out there. And events like this are going to be helpful, and that's why I'm so grateful to our panelists to be here with us today. Now, the story in Politico yesterday pointed to some findings from the Kaiser Health Care Tracking Poll that said that 58% of Americans have little or no confidence in the uh, Republicans to do the right thing for health care, whatever the right thing is defined as. Uh, the fairly harsh accusations and startling findings, the goal of this caucus is to change that, and we're going to move in that direction this morning. Washington itself is continuing to move forward with discussions towards comprehensive health care reform, and again, it's important that we, Republicans, penetrate the echo chamber that surrounds Capitol Hill and not just hear from ourselves. We need to hear from people out beyond the Beltway. I've done several Dr. Town Halls. I think Town is up to six now with, with the one that I did in Omaha last uh, Friday. I'll be going to North Carolina later this week. I'll be going to Indianapolis uh, for the Iowa Medical Association in May. It's important to get out beyond the Beltway and listen to what people are saying. Uh, listen to the ideas that are out there. Now, uh, we also need to be united behind a plan behind a plan that will work, and then after soliciting those ideas from the American people, formulating that into a plan, then take that plan back to the American public. And I'm certain that if Americans knew some of the common sense ideas that have been discussed here at this forum and in other forums, that they would they would indeed get behind them. There are many innovations that are being under, undertaken by private entities right now that lower costs, increase pace of choice and control, and improve quality. They're fundamental issues that Americans want us to address in health care reform, the cost, choice, control, and cures. President Obama at the White House Forum, which I attended, uh, said he was open to input on health reform and wanted to learn from what works. Well, I want to help him know what works. If this is truly the case, I think we have a responsibility to hear how people who are already doing the job in making health care better in terms of affordability and quality, we need to hear from those individuals as well. At the very least, we don't want to interrupt their efforts with the, whatever reforms we pass here in Congress. I would argue that we should look to these programs as models to reform, and today we're very fortunate to have three individuals who take innovative approaches to making health care better. 